Another exciting update on, I can't, you know, Mike does this thing where he, he, he asks for the intro and then waits because he knows I don't like the, the awkward silence. He's just going to start talking. Can't help himself. Yep. I can't help myself. It's, it's so the true. The most reliable introduction. <laughs> yeah. Time. Yes. And the thing is, Mike likes to do the intros. So he's really, he must like, like kneeling me more than that. So it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. We're going to be talking about the ongoing epic invasion of our rights as consumers, um, which is how some people contextualize it. Um, YouTube's fight against the ad, the ad blockers. More uh, uh, YouTube ad blocking news, because this is the story that keeps on giving. We've been doing updates for the last three weeks now, and they have consistently been the, like by far and away the most popular, well, apart from one video, the most popular videos on our channel. So everybody's obviously super interested in this. Um, <clears throat> we've got a few updates, actually. I think there was a, one or two more um, others. But one of the main things that we want to talk about is an article by Malware Bytes Labs. Um, and it's talking about how there is uh, how bad YouTube ads actually are. Um, there's a, a lot of examples in this, uh, and it's basically saying that they're showing <laughs> they're showing ads for malware, but they're also showing ads for ad blockers, which is kind of hilarious. Um, and they're kind of going into detail about the kind of the, the the stuff that's being shown and pointing out the irony of uh, YouTube blocking ads. It's it's kind of a terrible situation. John, you weren't here last week. Have you been following this in your? Um... I mean, I've been following the saga, obviously, very closely, um, because I'm affected by it. What? It's oh, that's true. Stop. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> We're not doing that anymore. That was yesterday or yeah. Monday. Monday? Friday. Friday. It is Monday. Um, we live outside of time. Okay. So, yes, Peter, to answer your question, the answer is yes. Yeah. It's it's been a, a roller coaster. Although I have to say that with what we talked about last week was the updates to like U Block Origin that have been happening and the features that have been added to uh, different um, ad blockers. Um, I don't see them. I don't see YouTube ads anymore. It's gone back to like oh, really? pre-war times hmm. um, when I, uh, you know, there was there was a bit of a, an incursion at one point where, <clears throat> um, yeah, the the I was seeing the the anti ad block thing that's on the screen right now. Ad blockers violate YouTube terms of service, and also the version of it that had three like you strike one, strike two, and then the third time yeah. you couldn't watch the video. Because you used to be able to just, yeah, for a time it was just you click the X and the, the screen went away. Then it was the one, two, three thing. And now it's the ad blockers violate YouTube's terms of service. There's a there's one site that is called, um, it's on the github.io. And it's, does uBlock Origin bypass the latest YouTube anti-ad block script? And it will just give you a big red thing, yes, or a green, uh, a green yes, or a red no. And it tells you, Basically, uh, if you use YouTube, are you going to be able to bypass the ads? It's it's crazy how these things have kind of popped up. I think what, this what article. Think about... Sorry, yeah, you can finish, Peter. No, I was going to ask you, what do you think about this whole um, like, blocking ads for security thing? The, the, well, I mean, I said last time, I don't think people block ads for security. I think they block ads because they don't want to see the ads. Um, mm. Generally speaking, now. the broader broader public, I think it's. And I also don't think it's a surprise that ad networks are abused by malicious ads. I think it's smart for ad blocking companies to buy paid advertisements because that's who their potential customers are. Otherwise, like, how are people going to find out about your product? Um, I do think it, it... So none of this is a surprise that this is happening. It is definitely... Uh, nice to call YouTube out on not solving the malicious ads problem while cracking down on people who use the software to protect themselves from those ads. Okay. So, so let me, let me ask you a question, right? Uh, John, you're, you're, you're an anti ad person. If one of the most, as a consumer, as are, a marketer, I'm very pro ad. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I definitely want to monetize wanna... this channel. So everybody in our audience should definitely watch the ads. Yeah, in a massive twist of irony, the um, the bump in views uh, <laughs> that we've been getting lately have Tony, pushed us closer to blocking. getting to be able to put ads on this channel. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but, and for, for future reference, the only reason that we really want to do that is so because we believe that the YouTube algorithm will push us more. Well, yeah, we, we definitely, threshold. yeah, we, no, that's we strongly only believe reason we want to monetize. Yeah, we don't well, want. I don't money, actually but... care about the twenty or so bucks we'll make. No, but I do want to grow our channel. Anyway, you. you were going to ask me a question, Peter. I'm anti-ad. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so one of the most common complaints that I've heard is by in our comments is people saying the ads are so annoying. They're unskippable, thirty-second, sixty-second long ads that are kind of just nothing to do with the the content. Blah 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 blah. It, if the ads were, you know um better then it wouldn't be such a problem if there was like a decent sort of contextual ad type thing version of it would you would you care so much yeah still okay all right yeah what about a tracking free version i mean <sighs> Just because I'm not being tracked doesn't mean I want to see the ads, right? Sure, like sure, sure. For a, random, for a random toaster. What about um, no ads, but you are being tracked? I think that's what's happening right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you're talking that's about like, like the acceptable, Facebook. I guess. Like nothing you can really do there. Even if you block trackers, you are still being tracked. Tracking is yeah. track track anti tracking <clears throat> is such a diff. Peter knows way more about this than me. Anti tracking is such a fucking rabbit hole because like, yeah. and divide like like digital fingerprinting. When you when you try to obfuscate yourself, you're actually making yourself more unique. It's really fucked up actually do, do you know something that's happened recently so for a long time i've been saying that the do not track header which is the thing that your browser can send to a server to say don't track me is basically useless because it doesn't work and it's actually kind of counterproductive because it's an extra data point that allows yep. you to be identified so um for a fingerprinting purposes when it takes all the different elements of your browser session that's just one extra thing which makes means you're because not many people use it anybody who is using it you they're e more easily identified. Um, so, but there was a court case recently where LinkedIn was, I think it was in Sweden or Norway, uh, one of the, the Nordics or Scandinavians, um, where LinkedIn is going to be forced to uh, respect the DNT header. Love it. Um, wow. Yeah. And then I saw another article by someone else saying, like, bring it back. Um, there's this thing called the uh, the global privacy, uh, the GPC, global privacy controls, which is kind of like, DNT on steroids and meant to be a bit more effective, but it is conceptually kind of the same thing almost. It's a setting you put in the browser and websites are supposed to respect it. And it means that, you know, it is much more complicated than that, but like it's kind of, this, you know, it's got a lot of similarities. So I, I, can I, can I confess something? I saw an ad the other day on Twitter and I was like, I don't mind that. I just, I don't mind it at all. It was an ad for a mug that had a little cutaway part of it. And there was like a cityscape behind it. It was really nicely created. And, and it was just in the middle of my scrolly bit. And I just thought, that's the kind of ad I like. It's like a nice thing. Buy it. Go and buy it if you like it. If you don't, just keep scrolling. It's mm -hmm. not like trying to deceive me or, or like manipulate me or anything. It's just a mug. Like, <laughs> I don't love it. Um. I mean, I, I definitely, so Reddit serves ads in a similar fashion to Twitter, that it's a post, right? Right, right. Um, I don't see the Reddit. problem I have with that is that it's sort of dark pattern where yeah. you, your brain has been trained to think that the next thing you're going to read is a post, but then you're like, wait, and then you see the little ad yeah. thing. Then I want to just fucking download it to hell. Do you do ad blocking on your phone, Peter? Um, kind of. I use Brave Browser, uh, oh, but in like 
Twitter. I don't, I don't have it. Um, I did. Oh, use I Firefox used the Reddit app. Bit. That's why I don't. That's why I still see ads there. Uh, you should set up a pie hole. Yeah, I I keep thinking of doing that actually, but uh, because of my current living circumstances, I don't have a lot of control over my local network. So sure. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's a quick update. We, there was uh, what's so, what was the other story? Now that uh, you're not getting ads, and assuming the ad blockers are catching up, and this is kind of stabilizing, is this going to continue to be a story? I think so. Yeah. I mean, okay. um, it's definitely something that people are still interested in because a lot of ad, uh, uBlock Origin is one example, but like AdBlock Plus, um, AdGuard, uh, the other big ad blockers, ad filters out there are going right. to, you know, I, um, well, I guess. But we'll... you know, we'll. We'll keep pandering to the audience. We have to talk about it next week. <laughs> like and subscribe for another update on YouTube ads next week, which with very little content. Um, mm, you're going to love it. it. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it, do like and subscribe to have viewpoints from people in the industry and a, a filter list maintainer himself. So, you know, this is kind of a unique viewpoint. He's that Peter Lowe. He's that Peter Lowe. Fuck off, John and Mike. <laughs> <laughs>